reduce, reuse, recycle. We all know the importance of it, and I think that that saying has stuck with me for quite some time now, but how do we keep this idea fresh? Well, with some new ways to do that during the hot summer months, Marissa Segundo joins us today. How you doing, Marissa? Great, great. Well, thank you so much for coming on, because again, reduce, reuse, recycle is something that we teach the youngest. But how do you make it fresh? And especially, I mean, we've got a towel, a beach ball. Break it down for us. So as pool owners, we tend to do a lot of entertaining. And so as you have people coming over to your house there, you're throwing a party. There's a lot of waste. You've got disposables. You've got uh, plastic bottles, aluminum mm -hmm. cans. So if you're having a pool party at your house, say, allow people to come over, show them where the recycling bin, but also show them where to hang their towels. This is a twofold idea, I've got to say, Marissa. I mean, I I saw this come in and I'm like, okay, how does this have to do with <laughs> recycling in a way? But you've got a great idea. So this falls under that reduce um, that reduce arrow that you mentioned. So um, usually when a lot of towels are used, when a lot of people are here, they'll get out of the pool, they'll grab their chips, and then they throw their wet towel somewhere in a shady spot. So usually in a ball at the end of the pool. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so what do they do when they need chips again? They'll grab a new towel and start it again. So as people come to your house, you say, hey, by the way, in the sun, we have a nice uh, drying rack for your towel place that there and reuse your towels so even this is going to save our laundry in the long term and it really reinforces this idea with your guests that reducing reusing and of course recycling is very important for you as as an individual so setting the stage with your guests but also let's talk a little pool toys because mm -hmm. I didn't realize how those can actually uh, you can recycle them in ways that would help the environment as well right well we're using a different word we're actually using the word repurpose uh -huh. you can't recycle your pool toys they can't go into to your recycling uh, bin or your cart. So okay. it either is destined for the trash can or maybe it finds a new life like this inner tube. Okay, so time out. I would think <laughs> with these being plastic or what I would think would be plastic that mm -hmm. they could be recycled. Usually most uh, programs accept plastic containers. So check oh. with your local program, find out what they recycle and don't just assume because it's plastic that you can recycle it. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, talk <laughs> about a beach bag. What in the world did you make this out of? So this was an inner tube and I even left the um, the little blow up thing so it shows once again creating a, an example of how repurposing is important to an individual so this was super easy we basically took an inner tube cut it in a 45 degree angle to make these sides turned it inside out sewed it on either side and the bottom and then I took a to the top part of the inner tube to make the handle so very easy very fun you can take it to the beach you know it's water resistant I was gonna say, that's a great idea for a beach bag you know you're not going to damage it. Exactly. And it's pretty cute. So I get compliments on it all the time and it makes me feel good that I can tell the story and inspire other people to reduce and repurpose. What happens if you blow it up? Uh, I haven't tried that. <laughs> Maybe we can do that off air. <laughs> well, there you go. So I already did the burger thing on air today. I'll wait and blow that up off air. Okay. So again, great tips to talk about breaking it down. Any other ideas, any other do's and don'ts for people if they want to keep the recycling in the back of their mind as they're getting ready to throw a summer soiree? Definitely. Well, even just general maintenance with your pool toys. So buying stuff that's a little bit more sustainable that you think is going to last through the summer. And then also um, take care of your pool toys. So keep them in the shade, keep them out of the pool when you're not using them oh. and that way they're going to have a longer life they're not going to pop um, pop and then you have to buy another one it just seems like every year we have to keep buying new pool toys they're fun but not so sustainable so let's try to work on sustainability so just to confirm again keep them out of the pool mm -hmm. and out of the sun out in of the, the shade pool. yep okay well as always we appreciate your tips thanks for coming on today thank you we appreciate it